Hey y'all, Noons here, and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. Thanks for coming back, and if it's your first time here, welcome. And hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notified for future content. Well everybody, by the thumbnail, Black Ops, right? Like you saw this box in a previous video, and if you got this little red taping, you know what's in here. So what I did for the Radio Master TX-16S is I got a new platform so I can go ahead and get through it program it and get her ready to go. It's not a plane, it's not a helicopter. I haven't had one before, but there you guys go. We got an FPV aircraft here. It's the Recruit version two from Ready Made RC. I went ahead and I got this bad boy from Race Day Quads, once again out in Florida, fast shipping. This thing got out here in two days right here. Uh, it's a flying wing, guys. It's made out of EPP foam, a little bit more flexible than EPO. It's got a wingspan of 35.4 inches. The length of it's 19 inches. It is EPP foam, like I said before. The motor, it's a little drone motor, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, 2206, 2300 kV brushless. It has an ESC, a 30 amp ESC. Um, it comes with the uh, servos, and it also comes with the prop. It also comes with the flight stabilizer uh, stabilizer built-in, which also takes care of your mixing, which is kind of be a good learning curve sort of for me. You just got to program it like a basic plane, pop in your four channel receiver. It does all the mixing for you. Um, the board's uh, built-in. Uh, this model right here, I paid just a little over $100 uh, for it. They do make a mini, uh, I believe it's like $80. And they do make a built-up model FPV ready, just have to have the goggles, goggles to go. They're pro build, I believe it's like 189. I went ahead and I ordered all the peripheral stuff uh, separate that'd be coming in. Well guys, let's go ahead and dive into this box. Get some! Hey guys, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. I'm just gonna go ahead and use half the table a little close up so you guys can see what comes in the box. We go ahead and open her up. I'll go ahead and talk about that guy in a little bit. We got our instructions right here. Very simple instructions, very crude. Uh, very simple to put together, guys. Tells you the CG on the other side. Uh, once again, from Remedy, Ready Made RC. We got some decals, so we can go ahead and pizzazz her up. Go ahead and move these off to the side. Let's get to the tidbits. Looks like right here we got our hardware package. It looks like two thumb screws and a few other wood screws. They did send two props, three blade props right here, guys. Uh, they are five by five by threes right there. We have our bottom skid plate. That's plastic, a hard plastic right there that I'll get attached under the bottom. <clears throat> we got our winglets. They do send two types of winglets, guys. They send, oh, right here. They do send a plywood winglet and a foam winglet. So you can go ahead and have either or right there. Go ahead and put that down right there. These right here, guys, these are your uh, mounts for the front for your camera. It can have two cameras. I'll show you guys in a little bit. We got a fuselage. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Or the center section, whatever the correct terminology is. We got a wing. A second wing and some more hardware. Also a wing spar. All right guys, let's go ahead and get this removed out of the packaging and see what she looks like without all the bubble wrap. Well guys, here she is unboxed. This is the Stealth Black Edition, the Recruit version two. Um, I called it Shadow Ops. I'm infantry, that's what we do there. Uh, as you can see here, you got your wings, your winglets the extra um, front fuselage parts in the skid plate. But here's the wing right here, guys. EPO, uh, EPP foam, comes with servos already installed. 
you have one servo connector right here. It says right there, aileron right. The other one will say aileron left. Your little mounting plate right here. Looks like your spar goes in through this back hole and you got your screw to attach right here. And this is one wing. The left wing right here, you'll notice a little cutout. It's already pre-cut. If you wanna go ahead and install a first person viewer camera, I went ahead and I ordered the Runcam Swift 2 to mount in here. You could buy this model already built up, already done uh, through ready-made RC uh, already. Um, I went ahead and I bought this one. I, I wanted to build it so I can do more learning. Um, got your servos right there. And they even put your CG point on the wing, guys, which is pretty cool. The other wing, pretty much a mirror copy of the other side. You got your servo, got your CG point for your spar right here, aileron right. As you can see, it's already marked up. And the wing's pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and check out what's up with this fuse, guys. So right here, this is your 2206-2300 kV brushless motor. Gonna be sounding mean. Um, this is the center section. You can see where the spar goes through and your screw comes in from the inside. Same thing on the other. This is the front, guys. This right here has a magnet and it comes right off from what I've seen. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and take the top off. All right, and then the top should just come, there it is. They use magnets, it's pretty strong, guys. But what this is for is you've got all this hardware right here, and they're all the fronts to different cameras. So you can build a box to a bunch of different cameras and then mount it in here. And depending if it's a center view like this one, you can use that or you use the other ones that it comes with. So you can also be, say, with a GoPro or some other camera here, and then also have your first person viewer right there on the side, which is pretty cool. Here's the inside guts, guys. I'm gonna go through this right quick. I'm not a pro at a wing, but it's pretty much self-explanatory, I would think. Your 30 amp uh, ESC, a fly color, already pre-installed, pre-wired to the motor. <coughs> and here is, I'm gonna go ahead and step behind the camera, guys. Here is that stabilization board right here, guys. It's already pre-wired with the throttle on the inside. And you have your two prongs right here on this side. So your left aileron, your right aileron go in here. And this is your imports, your inputs, sorry, from your receiver. And as you can see, the first one is the only one that has um, a power and a ground. The other ones right here, they're just signal wires, okay? So if we read it down, we have, it looks like it's, if I can read that, looks like ailerons, your elevator input. So your aileron input would be right here. Your blue wire would be your elevator input, yellow wire the throttle, and the green is the mode. And on the mode switch, guys, pretty much what that breaks down to is there's three modes in here, stabilization, um, uh, takeoff mode if you want, and no stabilization. No stabilization is just nothing. Uh, stabilization is what you would be familiar with AS3X to help you combat with the wind. And takeoff mode where you would just flip the switch and it automatically give you some up elevator and it would lock you in kind of like safe mode on um, Spectrum to help you with the launches. Uh, which is pretty cool that that add-in feature came in with the wing at a hundred dollars, which awesome <coughs> the Other awesome thing is you don't have to sit there and learn how to do any mixes or anything crazy because it's all done in there You just go ahead and plug in your aileron your elevator um, Your throttle and another one for your mode switch And that pretty much takes care of it. Another great thing about this guys is it runs on a 3s 2200 pack and if you fly RC you got bunches of them lying around, guys. I know I do. It goes right down there. Well, guys, let's go ahead and see how she looks like put together. Hey, y'all, we're back. Uh, went ahead and put her together. Took me, honestly, less than five minutes. Um, 
the wings and everything. I'll go ahead and show you guys how she went together. So you can see the wing spar right here goes across the back and you got these two thumb screws secured in the front, secured in the back. The two wings went on, two screws for this winglet, two uh, screws for this winglet. And <laughs> yeah, and she was done guys. Um, one thing I'll be doing, I'll be dressing her up, making her a little um, more what I call loud. Uh, let me show you what I mean guys. That? Can't tell which way's up. I'll put one color over here, one color on the back here. Guys, um, great engineering. Went together nice and tight, less than five minutes. Uh, the design's great, uh, putting it together. They also did send you four extra magnets in case you pull the magnets out. Um, great job, Ready Made RC. Uh, pleasurable experience all the way around from buying to building. Uh, to run this, guys, I went ahead and I picked up the Radio Master T16S. I went ahead and I bought one of the receivers right here. It's the Radio Master R84 four channel micro receiver. And that's what we're gonna be dropping in, in this bad boy. Um, broke the bank on this one, guys. I mean, I feel almost raped. $8.90. It's outrageous, the receivers on them. They are so, so cheap. Can't wait to go ahead and give this Radio Master stuff a try, guys. Um, and get this i'm pretty excited with this first flying wing and everything's been going together well i can't wait to go ahead and get this thing up in the air well guys if you like this if you want to get into something like this the ready made rc recruit version 2 they also have a mini version for 80 dollars, which is a little smaller than this it's also fpv viewer go ahead and give them a look out at ready made rc and at race state quads out in florida noon's out Awesome.